Hey Delavan, I got some questions for you about your pumps. Um, first of all, I'm not an engineer, but I play one on YouTube, so I know what I'm talking about. So let's look at this pump that you guys sell for $200. Beautiful sticker. And on the sticker, I know an engineer designed this too. You have continuous running amps of 25. But yet, you run 12 gauge wire. Now what is 12 gauge wire? What kind of load will that run continuously rated for? What is that rated for, engineers? Look in your book. Isn't that 20 amp wire? I thought this was a 25 amp pump. Wouldn't you bump that to 30 amp wire? Which is what? Look in your book. It's 10 gauge, not 12. What are you trying to do? Save three cents there? The other thing is, Look at this silly ass scotch lock. Look at that. 3M I think originally came out with them. This is probably not a 3M, but it's the same principle. You know, engineers, when you crawl underneath a trailer and try to fix their wiring, and you see all the scotch locks are bad, then you would think when you're designing this, hey, we can't put this crap on here. I mean, this looks cheesy at best. What should you have done, engineers? Well, wouldn't have been really smart to made this connection inside. Ooh. But, no, we'll put it outside with this connector that always fails. What about just soldering that and putting some double wall shrink tubing on there? That would have been good. That would have earned you maybe a, a bonus. So, you, you guys are stacking the, uh, the odds are stacked against us when we're out here building this stuff. And um, so here's another issue. So you're selling this beautiful pump, nice, you know, label on there and stuff. And we have a half inch outlet and we have a half inch inlet. Now what's your book say about liquid and flow? Doesn't it say that it's easier to push water than it is to pull water? and that your intake should be larger than your output. This should be three quarters of an inch. This is a half inch, this should be a three quarter inch. If this is a three quarter inch pump, it should be three quarter inch, one inch. And then uh, the other thing is, I, I peeked inside here where your relay is, and all you've done is crimp your spade lugs on there. So what happens to a crimp spade lug when it's outside? it fails. So why don't you solder those up? The only thing I see you did correctly was you put a 60 amp relay on here. Kudos to you, but you probably got those on sale. So what I'm saying is if you're going to sell us a $200 pump, make it a $200 pump. If you're going to sell us a $69 pump, I expect this kind of stuff. But now even if I upgrade my supply lines to 10 gauge, I still got a 12 gauge uh, fusible link in, in here. So, you know, I'm not gonna open that up and do it right, but that's not my job. That's your job as an engineer. So um, all of us out in the field, when your electrical goes bad and you're wires heat up and they corrode and and you lose connection on these stupid ass uh, connectors that's not our fault that's your fault so anyway so if you're going to make six figures a year or more maybe you ought to design something a little better 